The idea here is that if you have a tool like this, you can work on many, many more projects in a much shorter amount of time. Right? If you want to write or learn about any subject, you can use this technique because it will give you the answers and will tell you where the answers come from so that you can dig more into whatever subject that you are interested in. It will completely change because the interaction is all personalized. You know, It is not like reading a book and then you say, oh, I want to know about X, but where is that X? You are not able to interact directly with knowledge, which is now all made possible with um, this new technology. But this transition from hallucination or generative AI to expert AI makes this so much better because otherwise the students don't even know when, you know, whether things that, are, that it says is true or false. Generative AI is a umbrella. It's like, okay, um, can we predict, given some input, what the output is? And this prediction may include hallucination. So generative AI is very generic, but if you want to focus on language, I mean, instead of like, uh, like images and videos and so forth, that's what you call la large language models. So this is LLM. So in general, that's all LLM. GPT is an example of LLM. Today, I will use GPT and I will ask GPT the question, but I don't trust anything that it comes back with. But I can look at the answer and I dissect the answer and get it to all the different little claims. And for each one, I go and try to find a citation that I trust that backs up those facts. What I'm doing now is to teach the LLMs the same thing. Every step that I'm talking about requires you to call the LLM for little basic steps like filtering irrelevant information. After calling it maybe 15 times, I get a good answer. So this is how we teach the LLM to give you a trustworthy answer. Our focus is not to teach or not to try to get LLMs to memorize all the facts. What we want to do is to teach it how to perform knowledge skills, such as when we ask it a question, it needs to go and read from reputable sources, such as Wikipedia or textbooks. Being able to look up information is an example of a basic knowledge skill that we need. Actually, in our case, we were using a 7 billion um, open source LLM called Llama. GPT has 175 billion parameters. Llama, the one that we have, is only 7 billion parameters. You can even run it on your own computer. But now, after I train it on that set of data that we actually get from GPT-4, our Llama actually behaves like a GPT-3.5. But it is much smaller and it is actually also faster. And this is another reason why this whole process is going to democratize AI. Because now the whole combination of being able to trust its outputs, having it run on a smaller model, and you can continually improve the skills as you just, you know, once you train a skill, you can use it as a subroutine for another skill, for a bigger skill, and you can actually get it to learn many more things. With the LLMs, with uh, technology, we now have a chance to help everybody that has not been served in the past properly. So it is really a great opportunity. And the humans, you know, can continue to innovate to be creative and solve problems that we have not seen before. And in America, it was found like one in, I think, 36 children under the age of eight has autism. And it really requires a lot of um, training to help them um, function well in the society, teaching them verbal skills and so forth. What is difficult is that we just did not have enough trained professionals to provide that kind of assistance. I just enjoy research. I mean, I like to create ideas. I've been at Stanford for 35 years. And at the beginning of my research, I worked on making machines run faster. I worked on high performance computing, building parallel machines and building software so that people can use these machines for different applications. As the machines got fast enough, my research switched to looking at how we can protect people's privacy. And one of the critical problems with uh, privacy is how do you give the users the ability to 
access their own data. And I see natural language processing as uh, one of the most important um, tools. So, you know, then we can just use our natural language and access our own data. Then we have a chance of having the autonomy you know, of, of do, using data in the way that we want.